How can you create a Power BI report that always shows you the information of the current week? As you can see, in this case, we're showing the current week value, we're showing the prior week value, and we're also doing a week over week comparison. Now, of course, the best part is that this is gonna change automatically always showing the current week, no matter what the date is. So as the date changes, the information shown here changes. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can create this. Now, if you are a Power BI beginner or still feel like a beginner, then my friends, this channel is just for you. So make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you are notified whenever I answer your Power BI questions. Now, this question was asked by Norman Norman, one of our Learn Power BI members, and Norman actually sent this in, and you can see that's exactly what he was asking for. He said, oh, I wanna show the last week dollars, I wanna show the current week dollars, and I wanna show the delta, the difference week over week, but the most important part, that it is always last week in current week, so that means it should update automatically. Let's see how we can do this. Now, if you have your Power BI questions, you can always go to learnpowerbi.com slash question to, uh, uh, to get your questions answered. All right, so this is what we're trying to build. Now, where are we gonna start our solution is, is this point where we have the concept of the weeks and the current week uh, offset essentially built into the model. Where do we get this information? I'm gonna share that with you in just a moment, but I wanna show you how uh, uh, our model is set up. So of course, we have uh, our sales table, that's what we focus on, and our calendar table. Those are the only two that matter for this one. And you can see in our calendar table, we have the week start date. And in this case, we chose Sunday as a start date, but we also have the current week offset. And that's the magical part, which is really gonna help us in the next step when we start building the solution uh, that we need. So let's go back here and you can see current week offset. It's easiest for me to explain this if I scroll down to the current week. Now you can see here, so today's date is August 4th and you can see that uh, August 4th kind of lies between this and this. So it's marked this week as the current week. So probably you can see how it's working that the zero always marks the current week. And again, it's fully automated. It's gonna update automatically as you go into the next week and the next week, uh, uh, you know, the zero will always keep marking the current week. Right now, it is the week of July 31. And you can see that uh, it, what it also does is it marks the previous week as minus one, minus two, minus three. And if you have future weeks, uh, one, two, three, they are marked as well. So this this is gonna make our work so easy. Let me show you one more thing here, just to, just to emphasize and make it clear what's happening. So if you click on this current week, you can see that it spans the full week. It has the dates from uh, starting from Sunday, Monday, uh, Sunday, July 31 to Saturday, August 6th. And if you were to go to the prior week, 724, again, it starts at Sunday, July 24 and goes to Saturday, July 30. So that's how it's set up. Now, of course, I had said, I I'm gonna tell you exactly where you can get this all set up. You don't have to do anything. And that is, of course, part of our ultimate calendar table and uh, we're gonna link to the ultimate calendar playlist go watch that and you're gonna know how that table works and how you can use that table and download that table so that is our starting point now with that in place let's get started on our solution all right so now of course we have our simple measure defined which is sales let's add this now of course what this is doing is it's showing you the sales for all uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is not yet showing the current week because of course we haven't taught it how to do that. This is a simple measure, sales, sum of sales amount. Now, of course we can manually filter it, right? So I could go here uh, and find the current week, which is August, uh, July 31 actually is the start of the current week. And I could click on that and we'll see the value shift. But of course, we don't wanna do that manually, we definitely wanna do it automatically. So how do we do that? So for that, we're gonna remove the sales measure from here and we're gonna build a new measure. So let's go here, new measure. All right, and let's say sales 
current week equals we're going to bring out our trusty calculate so calculate what are we calculating well we're still calculating sales but we're going to alter the filter context a little bit i'll talk about filter context in a second so calculate sales but only for the current week and that's where our built-in ultimate calendar table is going to be super helpful so we can go to calendar and we can say cur week offset you've already seen that in action equals zero we know that that always gives us the current week as i showed earlier in the table great so uh let's say yes to that i'm going to format it and then place it on our table and let's see what it looks like bingo right so notice that i don't have to go click on filter find the current week all of that it's showing me current week and not just that it'll always automatically update to the current week now of course if you're here you can easily guess how we're going to write the rest of the measures so i'm just going to copy this one and create a new one and we will create the sales prior week so we go in here prior week and in this case offset i'm just going to change it to minus one that always points to the previous week i'm going to format this again just change the currency there and sales prior week and there we go so it's showing current week prior week and of course you've heard me probably talk about the lego block approach of creating measures so we can take this and ch do the change really easily and sales week over week change equals and again lego blocks once you have defined the measure you don't have to redefine it again you can just reuse that as lego blocks sales current week minus prior week and i'm going to go here change the formatting bring this in and we can add some formatting so let me go here and i'm going to say conditional formatting let's do data bars uh, probably the defaults are okay and there we go we have some color so that's how you can create a report which always shows you the current week and also lets you compare it with the prior week and everything updates automatically now uh, we talked about a few concepts here which may be new to you maybe calculate i mentioned filter context a little bit which is a really important concept to understand if you want to learn more about a complete power bi training program then go to this url we're going to put a link in the corner and in the description below I'll see you next time. Until then, power on.